or something, they go up and they do this parabolic fly the thing and they float around in there. You could do that in this thing. Just yeah, well, you know, when we pushed over out there, I came right up, yeah. out, you know, up against the yeah. bell. Well, you can do it for quite a long time. I mean, you know, you get the thing really going and you say, pull it up this way. You get it up like it and then just start pushing it before you got zero G's and you just, you just That's float fun. up. You just float up off the seat and you just sit there and the airplane's just going away from you. I mean, you just keep it like right? You can even do it. And you can go way on down this way to you, you know, to you run out of sky. You can get up there, you can even do an easy little roll well, like that. Zero. Tell these boys they can do because they say they're not going to do it. Yeah, you're going to get us in trouble. They're all going out and saying, if Woody can do it, we can do it, and they're all going to get Excuse in trouble. Me. But try the cigarettes, but you can do that. <laughs> and, you, and you can bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, I don't know about floating doing that. I mean, I can bring it floating from the air back on you. Get a big pump. That's like I, my wife lived with I, I took her up one time. Only that thing over 16 years, one time. And I went up flying around out there at Manassas, and I said, I'll, I'll show you a barrel roll. So she went, don't, don't you do anything, she said. Don't you do anything. I, just a little barrel roll. So I just did this nice little barrel roll like this. You don't need, like I said, you don't need your seatbelt in there. She didn't say anything. We came on in, landed, you know, and I rolled in the airplane, the hangar, and I said, no. I said, what you think about that roll roll going? She said, what are you talking about? I said, well, we did a barrel roll. She said, you did that? She said, I closed my eyes. <laughs> she didn't even know we had done it. <laughs> If I hadn't put the airplane in the hangar, I'd have rolled it. If it wasn't in the hangar, I'd have gone around there. That reminds me of my dentist. Where is it? He'll be around somewhere. But I had this Dr. Petty in Lincoln. He was showing up at the hospital. And I went down one Friday afternoon. I had a tooth surgery. And he started grinding the tooth off and then put his leg in it. See? And he said, that hurts you, Woody? I said, hell yes, it hurts, Doc. <laughs> and he did it out of his laugh. He didn't hurt you much. He just grind and grind. He's like, he got a lot of weak out of it. Yeah. It didn't hurt you much. He me on the bed. Yeah, I'm saving that. And, and after he got through, he was got it. Everything you do is right quick, so you know. I believe I will. I, I just, so I said, uh, he's building a new home over on Rivermont, in Lynchburg. And I said, uh, would you like to go see your home from the air? <laughs> he said, I believe we will, Woody. He said, yeah. I went on out to the airport, got to the little airplane out, and I took off very easy. Took him over and shook around. Oh, yeah, he was holding on. Nice looking house. He said, yeah. I'm going back to the airport. <laughs> I got it up around 2,000 feet. I said, Doc, you were going to get on that two grind. <laughs> He said, Woody, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> that sound flipped on his back. And he went up against the belt and he had his eyes open. And uh, I rolled it up and I tapped it on his leg. I said, that didn't hurt much. He said, Doc. He and I went to Lynch, from Lynchburg to New York when he his wife was out of town, mine was out of town. And one Friday afternoon. So he said, I'm going to New York. All right. He 
I'll be out there in 30 minutes. We took off. We're on New York. That's about 30 or 40 miles till we went. I got to New York now, and I think it was out in 50 minutes. Why the hell was that? About 250 miles an hour. We landed. He was so excited. Uh, going from the airport in town, it only cost us a couple of bucks for a cab at that time. So he was, he got a ten dollar bill and paid the cab. Walked off and gave him eight dollars tip. You know. He got inside. He said, "You know what I did?" I said, "What?" He said, "I gave that guy eight dollar tip." <laughs> I was so excited that he had made all of it. So I guess you've moved that thing quite a bit, uh, like that, but up to New York and back oh, yeah. Well, 40, we're not getting it. You know, we're not getting it. 44. 44. 44. 45. Yeah, I know when he got it needed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he called me one day and said, uh, you're going C9, have you? And I said, what you mean? He said, you're going to Atlanta. I said, yeah, I'm going to Atlanta. He said, well, you know, you're going to Atlanta. Well, I'm 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 going to I had it one month longer than you. It was 16 years. You had it 16 years and five months, and I had it 16 years. No, 18 years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go, see? You go back. There you go. He got it in 44, and you sold it to fall in 60. In 60? 60. Well, that's how much 18. <laughs> you didn't show it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it at the time, you know, it, it didn't even dawn on me. I, when I gave it to the Smithsonian, I was just kind of looking through that thing, stick, figuring out how long I'd owned it, and, you know, I, I figured it out. Then I looked at that, and hell, I owned it one month longer than he did. <laughs> it caused me a lot of work. I had to go back and read and search it. Yeah, he had to find out if, <laughs> if whether I was right or not, you know. <laughs> and he telling these lies about it. That thing, he says, I've landed in 30 mile an hour crosswinds and never had the slightest problem. <laughs> see, he, can, he can say that now. See. Oh, I, I can prove it to you. <laughs> you see, he's hanging it on me now. See. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you got to do it. You yeah. landed on one wheel and let the other come down and the wind picked it up. All you had to do is shove the air on over and bring it back. Down. You're right, if you pay attention. I didn't pay attention one day. <laughs> I got too cocky one day. <laughs> That's uh, what you had. You were fighting. You had a bear by the tail. I took the knife edge down the runway. <laughs> a zero altitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're right, actually, as far as a light airplane goes, that handles crossing is better than oh, anything else. A uh, tail wheel, at least. Put that big tail wheel on there, and that'll give you a fit. I ain't gonna put no big tail wheel on there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know better. <laughs> I didn't. I put one on once. I said, look, so much better than that big tail wheel really, until that little thing I got on there. How long do you own that D-145 you own? What, I mean, which one was it? Do you, do you remember? Do you remember the number on it? I don't know. One F-A, one F-A. Only had $600 when I bought it. I didn't know when it was long. How long did you, you keep it? About six months, I guess. Every time I do a roll with a piece of tape, a metal piece. Yeah. Well, that wasn't a good aerobatic airplane. You, know. you could do them. But it was a nice flying airplane. You know, you Except for you get rid of land, you didn't have a whole seven stick rock and roll. You couldn't get below nine inches. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> I wheel mine on all the time. Well, both mine. I had two of them, but <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson the first time. <laughs> no, when I got this, when I got that tip wing, after that, I couldn't believe it. 
Did you, uh, when did you put that aux tank back in there? Was that when you had the engine put in? Or did you that's, do all yeah, that at the same right. time? I didn't have a great tank. It's been a lot of time. It had. It had it. 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 It Okay, that thing worked perfect. Oh, well, you didn't see this. Oh, you know, yeah. 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 That was, that, you know, uh, that was what I was wanting to put in this one. You know, old Yacht Warrior. But he, you know, he, he got the engineer or something up. <laughs> it, it worked. It seems to work early. I've done your thing. Put on. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All right. 
Every cop pulls in your right, I was wondering who planned this road. <laughs> <laughs> what you're getting into. But it didn't give me no trouble with it. Had a big fire. How did that uh, read down there? How did he come by that airplane? Do you do you know how? He bought it from a guy up in Allentown, Pennsylvania. That was Gully, I guess. Guy Gully? Yeah. Uh, how did it end up down in Louisiana? I mean, he was up in Pennsylvania. How did well, it end up there? Well, you know, J.D. wanted to clip with him. And he found out this guy had one. He bought it from a guy that originally bought it was in, in, uh, in uh, Charlotte. Yeah, Cotty. Really? Yeah. And he had a little trouble with it, best kid up. He, went he must, yeah, he must have boogered it up and it must have gone back to the factory. Yeah. Oh. And then Gully. Yeah. And J.D. and I had agreed, I'd never met J.D. before. And I sort of advertised the trip plane, so I called him. And I had this little baby Laird. What's a baby Laird now? What is it? Uh, a little biplane? A little biplane. It's just like, you know, you see me regular lab. Yeah, I know. Well, the other one is uh, about 20 feet wind fan. Is that like Ranger a Continental Special? Huh? Warner? Ranger? No, it was a Warner. Mm -hmm. And uh, it had a 125 Warner in it. And you couldn't get anything to get in it before they could fly. So they had somebody that cracked this up in the green car. And I said, pick up the truck that I had a horse with a guy. And he put it all in the back end of the pick up the truck. <laughs> and it was mine. Hilarious. <laughs> and then the price started going up. Going up. It was different. Yeah. And uh, I had to have it in there. So I found it pretty much the price was pretty but you know, the only bill of sale in, in the paperwork, the only bill of sale I've ever seen like that, usually it's one dollar in consideration and stuff like that, you know. It's when Gully sold it to Reed, they put down $6,500. But I think Reed did that for tax purposes. I mean, you know, say, this is what I paid for the thing. He didn't pay, I'm sure he didn't pay $6,500 to Gully for that airplane. But he got, he got a hell of a lot more than that out of Woody for it. <laughs> he agreed, we had agreed to pay $5,000 And I ended up, I was paying him 10 <laughs> well, You couldn't get an airplane. <laughs> I think you guys ought to go around. I'll fly a chase just to make sure you get up and down all right. What's that? You want to go for a ride? Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> I know the insurance premiums were paid because it paid <laughs> And she's the beneficiary. Okay. Bob, would you take her up and go? No. Sure. <laughs> sure. Come on, you get up and that one. Good idea. <laughs> Come on, dude. Which one are you going in? Come on. First, first, first Come on. we got first we got to yeah, let, Let's push it out here. Wait a minute. I, I, I'm scared to. I, Oh, 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 oh. So this is a pretty historic moment for us.
Hey, John, who's teaching who how to get in that airplane? <laughs> They got something. Get off the window. They've already taken it out. That would be easier. Got the wide. Yeah, I'm going to get the airplane.